This makes me so mad. But before we talk about it, you guys have to see the clip for context. I don't care if this gets demonetized or whatever, you guys have to see it. Producers of the film hit the town and got lit. And you know what they say, people will say anything when they're a little toasty. What does it mean to you for the Korean culture? Thank you. No! No, yes. Okay, so she doesn't want to talk. Let's try this lady. What does this mean for Korea, the Oscar win? Oh, now that you've all got your fancy Oscars, you think you're too good to talk to us, huh? You shallow self-entitled. None of them speak English. Oh, why didn't they just say so? Oh, right, the English thing. What does it mean to you guys to win Best Picture and... Uh, <laughs> Nobody has any idea what to say. Dang, where's a good translator when you need one? Right there! Because that's two members of the huge K-pop group, BTS, and their translator. And after he translated our question about the power of Parasite to them, they had a lot to say. What is he saying? I don't know. The translator does a good job of translating our questions to them, but he never translates their answers back to us. Thank you very much. All right, 0 for 2. How do we fix this? Let's hire somebody. Yeah, translator. You want someone to go with Charlie and say, like, what do farts smell like? <laughs> Some things we will never know. You know what I don't know? How TMZ managed to disrespect Ace, BTS, the cast of Parasite, Koreans, and Asians all in 1 minute and 28 seconds. First of all, they confused Ace for BTS because apparently they couldn't take 3 seconds to ask. And I also guess all Asians look the same. Second of all, it's like Ace, or BTS as they thought, didn't have anything better to do than to translate for people. By the way, after the first, second, third attempt, either leave them alone or approach the people you know and saw speak English on TV and be respectful about it or just leave them alone. Don't paint them to be these snobby elitists just because they didn't understand why you were shoving a camera and microphone in their faces. This isn't even the first time this garbage has happened. TMZ were also racist to EXID a few years back. At this point, it wouldn't shock me if they saw Jungwa on the street and mistook her for J-Hope because I don't know, they both paint their nails. Side note, we haven't talked about this before, but how cool is it that J-Hope paints his nails? No fear of judgment or anything like that. I first noticed it when he released chicken noodle soup and painted chickens on his nails. And then when he released Ego, he had some Ego nail art. And he's not the first one to do it. We've talked about AT's Hong Jung doing it for a very noteworthy reason. I know G-Dragon has done it before. Let me know if I'm missing anyone else. I'm sure there's more. I'm just glad slowly but surely a lot of barriers are being broken and people can be happy be themselves, do whatever puts them on cloud 9. And one person who has to be on cloud 9 right now is Twice's Jihyo. Oh, that's a good name for Twice's next album. And it's meaningful too. Oh. Anyway, because not only is Kang Daniel finally feeling well enough to return to the industry, but and let me try to say this without crying. JYP said Mina's condition has stabilized a lot and she returned with Twice to perform Feel Special with them for the first time ever. JYP even uploaded the performance the same day of the concert, and unlike the last few concerts she was actually a part of, Mina finally spoke and thanked everyone for caring for her. It was a Japanese crowd too, and I can just imagine her going over what she was going to say over and over again. Look at these pictures with all 9 members, they're so squishy. Alright, let's get to some of your questions. Janela Eltagund, I am K-Poppy, Liz Rivera, StanGod7, and everyone else asks, when are you going to do a face reveal? I had to answer this because it comes up so often, but eventually. Don't worry, it's coming eventually, maybe for a special occasion. It's not that I don't want to do it, I just don't see the need to do it yet. Why look at me when you can look at these squishy photos instead? GB Army Nation asks, what is YG smoking? Mm, I don't know. Shy Shy asks, What girl group would you wish to have another comeback and which kind of silky pants is your favorite? Last part is pretty obvious, so I'll answer the first part and beyond the popular answers that are also obvious, I'm gonna go with a bit of an unexpected answer. I don't know if you consider them a group because it's just two of them, but Khan. Khan! The two of them re-debuted with I'm Your Girl So Good, and then we haven't heard anything from them since. The reason they were probably put in a duo because they both can take on so many roles. If anything, give us at least an update. Let us know you're okay. 
Che Yang Stan on Twitter asks, In honor of Chang'a and Rose's birthday, I want to know if you could ask Chang'a anything, what would it be? And if you had the chance to spend the day with Rose, what would you do and where would you take her? I love this question. If I could ask Chang'a anything, I would ask what it would take and who would I have to talk to for her to do a homecoming concert in Dallas, Texas? And what do I need to do to be the host or MC of that concert? And if I could spend the day with Rosé, I would take her to multiple bike shops until she finds her dream bike, then secretly take those bikes to Bali where she can ride in peace wherever she wants. Just because it seemed like last time she was there, some people may have found out and showed up at her hotel. And if you want to know why I would take her to a bike shop... Yeah, I want to get a bike, a really pretty bike, but I still haven't found one. Um, so I've been waiting for the right one to come into my life and just <laughs> into your life <laughs> yeah i'm literally Please come. <laughs> we we spent all day looking um around for nice bikes but still like one hasn't caught my eye i need to walk into a room and just be like that's it that's <laughs> mine i'm yours and you're you are mine, mine. <laughs> <laughs> you know i'm waiting for that moment but you know it still hasn't come so it's kind of sad but someday maybe someday